Bluetooth is connected. We are going to kick this thing off. My name is Hannah Howard with the Greater Muscatine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Thank you for joining us tonight to celebrate Knee High Distilling. Just an hour ago, the Knee High team of Jeremy and Kaylee Spratt and Thad and Rachel Burr Camper, right here, and their families and chamber staff witnessed the official ribbon cutting at the distillery. As parking was limited at their location at 1100 Oregon Street, they knew they wouldn't be able to invite everyone they would have liked to witness it. So the team decided to plan a post ribbon cutting open house here at Bridgeside to celebrate properly with all of you and knee high drinks in hand, which was a fabulous idea, of course. It's hard to believe how quickly these young entrepreneurs have been able to make their dream a reality. And what a cool dream it is. Four Muscatine natives bringing Muscatine the very first craft distillery. As we like to joke at the chamber, thanks to Nehi, Muscatine has the trifecta. A winery, brewery, and now a distillery. <laughs> Back in August of last year, I remember meeting with Kaylee to hear about their plans and how everything was coming. Then a few months later in the fall, to awarding them a Make It Muscatine startup grant, then a few months later, touring the brewery for the first time. And it has been so inspiring watching their story unfold. Congratulations from the Chamber on successfully bringing this distillery into production and making this exciting investment right here in Muscatine. We wish you nothing but success as you continue to grow your business and expand into, expand into new liquors, markets, and more. Big things are coming and all of us here tonight are excited to support you along the way. Let's give the Nehi team a round of applause. In a moment, I will turn it over the, to the dream team behind me, High Distilling, to share more about how they made the distillery, distillery a reality and share some of the exciting things they have in the works. Then Mayor and President and CEO of the Chamber, Brad Bark, will say a few final words before we have a little photo opportunity with all of you here to celebrate. And then Connor Kenny from B100 will be doing a ceremonial toast as well. So afterwards, please feel free to stick around to continue the celebration and socialize. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. First off, I appreciate the compliment of calling us young entrepreneurs because we're not. Is that all right? <laughs> so we're with Nehag Distilling. I'm Jeremy Spratt. Um, I'm in charge of IT and communications and then all around helping with everyone else's stuff. Um, a little bit about our history. Uh, Dad and I started out being friends in fourth grade um, as mortal enemies. Um, between some Legos and a magnifying glass, that turned from mortal enemies to lifelong best friends. So since then, Dad and I have been friends. Um, high school, Kaylee and I met uh, Rachel shortly after, and since then, our families have pretty much grown together. So that's at least how we all came together, but the distillery happened during COVID. Um, you know, everyone's kind of shut in, uh, looking up things, trying to figure out what we can do with our free time, and Dad and I uh, got bored and said, hey, you know what, let's, let's do this. And we, you know, started playing around with stuff, started kind of getting all the legal legalities around it, um, and started the process, and then we had to, the biggest sell was getting our wives to approval, I think. <laughs> um, they both jumped on board willingly, and I promise it was willingly, and uh, I mean, this is how we are now. This is, this is Anita. Hi, I'm Rachel Burkamper. I'm going to the ad Burkamper. I... <laughs> Um, I do the administrative work and financial side of things for Nehi. Um, so what we have so far is our 80 proof vodka and our 100 proof vodka. Um, we recently announced our watermelon vodka coming out. 30% alcohol, so you guys will like that. Um, and we have a few more, hopefully being announced on Tuesday during the Paula Sands Live. So you guys should stay tuned to that. And whiskey is in the works, so <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I'm Sad, uh, her camper, I'm her husband, and uh, I'm in charge of operations and keeping the physical things doing their physical jobs at the shop. Um, what we have going in the 80 and 100 proof, and you guys all with your amazing support, which 
we're very thankful for. When you guys say, hey, Thad, how do we help you not go under and be bankrupt? You go buy a bottle. <laughs> and then I hear, but Thad, I don't drink. I don't care. You know somebody that does. Buy a bottle and hand it to them. Uh, many liquor stores locally have been supportive and they, they hold it on uh, in their shelves. Almost every bar in Muscatine has Nehi on their shelves as well, so go order Nehi when you're at a bar, stop by Hy-Vee or Fairway, or uh, there's like a million liquor stores, but they're all holding it for us. And we're slowly working on... You're married. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> So our 100 proof vodka, just on a tangent that I thought of on my own, uh, is a collaboration with B100, that's why Connor Kenny is here. When we got started, yeah. when we got started, uh, Connor got a hold of us and said, you know what would be better than vodka? B100 proof vodka. And we all said, you're right, say our name on the radio a bunch and we'll make that happen. And he said, fine. So that. If you want to be helpful, if you want to be supportive, and we appreciate the support we've already gotten from Muscatina, I cannot complain, um, go grab a bottle and hand it off to somebody or drink it. Hi, I'm Haley Spratt, and um, I am head of social media and marketing. And um, I just want to finish us off by saying thank you um, for coming. Um, the overwhelming support we have received from the community has been amazing. And if you have not yet been up to the table to grab a drink ticket, please do so and um, fill out a raffle for a free t-shirt or a tank top. Grab a koozie and we appreciate y'all being here. Dad, Rachel, Jeremy, and Kaylee. I think it's amazing not only do you get to work with your spouses, but also with your best friend as well. I commend your team for having those big dreams and big ideas, and you continue to shoot towards the moon, and you landed upon a killer business, a wonderful business, that is part of 2,235 distillers in the United States, and also part of an $18.8 .8 billion industry as well, so congratulations to you guys. I appreciate your team staying local and also working with the local industry for the key ingredient. Also, I know that uh, your one year anniversary is coming up. Is it June 1st? Uh, yes. Yep. All right, so congratulations there. And also, that's just next week, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> and uh, as Hannah said, just a great trifecta for the surrounding area of Muscatine specifically. We have a winery that's close by. We have a brewery and now the first ever distillery in Muscatine. So thank you guys so much and congratulations. Okay.